Well, we finally did it. We reached 100 subscribers! Woo! It's time for our giveaway. There is a link down below in the description. Make sure you follow that link and post a comment in the comment section of this video of what your t-shirt size is. You can see it in the thumbnail. We've had another videos. Stay tuned, cause now we're gonna roll out the barrel. It's time to roll out the barrel with three sheeps roll out the barrel. We figured it would be a good time to use that. And if you haven't noticed, our little intro splash thing has that song in it already. So we thought it made sense. And this is a Belgian style golden ale aged in Chardonnay barrels. It's got a champagne-y look. Real light golden, well, I mean golden Belgian. Ha ha ha. Surprisingly hazy. Like half a finger's worth of very white head, which is leaving quite quickly. Get to sniffing. Oh, you can smell the Chardonnay. You can almost only smell a little bit of the belgian -y yeast in it. I hope it is different when we taste it. it. Smells a little boozy. Well, it is boozy. This is... 12.4! 12.4%. This is a, a hefty one. Prost! Prost! First thing I get is a really... It's actually... It has a very smooth start. You can taste the Chardonnay quite a bit. It definitely got a white wine taste to it. There's not a whole lot of the... Belgian style that I'm picking out of this. It really does taste like Chardonnay. If it didn't have the heavier mouthfeel, I would wonder if this was wine. You can taste some of that sharpness, a little tartness. Definitely other fruits besides grapes dancing around in there. Brewed with heart and science. There's like a random leg over here. I don't know what that's about. This was bottled back in November of 2017, but being a Belgian at this high gravity, probably, probably not, not a big factor in the overall taste of it. No. Chardonnay is pretty strong. Well, I don't know what else to say about it. It's juicy. No, it's not. It's whiny. That's not juicy. Mouthfeel. It was very carbonated at first, but it effervesces. The bubbles or the carbonation come out of it very quickly. So even in the amount of time that we've had it sitting here on the table, it has already lost a fair amount of its carbonation. It finishes really boozy, actually. It does finish boozy. Bitterness? Bitter. What do you think about bitterness? I think it's fairly bitter. Maybe that's just because I'm getting all that wine out of it. Sorry if you like wine. Wine's gross. Brightens. I wish it wasn't quite so effervescent, like I said. But I'll give it a silver because I like the flavor, I like the texture, and it's just a, a nice style. And the fact that it comes in at 12.4% just, it makes me happy. Sorry guys, this gets a PBR for me. I cannot get over how much of the wine taste there is in this and how boozy it finishes. I would never drink this again. We all know I don't like bourbon. We've obviously tried some bourbon aged beers and I can drink those and I usually end up giving them at least a bronze because I can appreciate them and I can get a little bit of other flavors out of this. I am not getting anything else out of this except wine. They could have eased off on it just a little bit. That is the end of the review for Roll Out the Barrel. I had hoped that it would have been a little bit more to our liking more given that it matches our theme. It is what it is. Make sure you check out the description below for the link on how to enter. I'll put in a little note in there about making sure you comment in there with your shirt size once you've done all that other stuff. For a giveaway! For a giveaway! For 100 subscribers! So thank you everybody who's subscribed so far. We wanna keep making content because we like doing it and I hope that you guys like it also. 100 subscribers doesn't seem like much, but it's super exciting for us. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, bye. Bye. Maybe I can try to pour it back in. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Do it over the sink. <laughs> Can I scoop it? <laughs> no. Physics.